Welcome on YouTube, Trucking Life here again. You already see it. Man, one of these tires got 20 PS. I'm gonna let me show you what I'm talking about. Now these are 11 R's. Let me see if I can look on here. Where is it at? That's on here somewhere, man. Right here. 11 R 22.5s. They're not the 1020s, but look, check it out though. It's the trailers out here everywhere. But check this out. This tire back here. Some told me to check it because they don't have the auto air. Auto air is when it's connected from here, the stem, and to here, and from what that stem at? Right there. And to here. And it's fueled by a tank. It's under there. But they don't have an auto air, so I gotta manually check it. So I checked this first one. This first one caught my eye because I hit it. You can't see it on the camera because the camera don't show it good. Give it a little hammer fist. It shakes. So I was like, this air pressure is low. So let me check the air pressure in the right. Check it out. That was go below, but that ain't the bad one. The bad one is back here. Down there, look. Look at that. 20 PSI, man. I ain't gotta say it, but I'ma say it anyway. That wasn't gonna make it, man. So the rest I mean is bad. This, this 21 is the worst, but I gotta put air in all of them. But they all they all need some uh some air, man. But uh anyway guys, let me put some air in here real quick, guys. Stay tuned. And while I'm down here too, I'm gonna check the lug nuts right up in there. Out here and right here. One, two, three. Check these while you're down here too, because sometimes these be broken and missing. These be missing, and them back there be missing. Other trucks pulling in here. Tell you, man, all in a day's work, guys. This stuff right here saves you a lot of headaches, man. I ain't got time to sit on the side of the road, man, for a tire. I've done that too many times. Right now, I don't want to do it right now. I got like another 90 something miles. So I had to drive out in the middle of nowhere to get this low. I guess somebody left it. So I'm coming out here to get it. And um, take it the rest of the way, I guess. I don't know, man. I don't know what I'm going to. Maybe they, maybe they trying to suck me into something I don't know about. Hmm. I'm going to find out. I ain't getting suckered, man. If it's something crazy, I'm turning right back around. Drop this load right back off where it belongs. And keep on moving. But anyway, that's another story. Sometimes it stays on there by itself. I don't know why, but I guess. I'll take that. Too. Another thing too, when you checking the tires, check this out. When you checking the tires, and they kind of got like that. If, it, if you hit it, and it kind of like shake like rubber, like a rubber band. Check the seal, cause the seal broken. It's a way to get it sealed, but I ain't go. I wouldn't recommend. I ain't gonna sit on it. I want nobody trying it, man. It's, it's kind of crazy. I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna say it on here, but if the seal broken, let me show you what I'm talking about, the seal. When you hit it, this is the seal right here. The tire, the tire is the seal to this. When they air it up, they stick something in here, they put air on there, they, they put like a, a boost of air, like a boom. And when, they, when the air go in real big, it, it expands the tire and it seals to the rim while they put air in there. You need a certain like a, uh, you need like one of the machines to do it. Like one of them uh, things you put air in it, like a, like a, it's like a, like a little mini, a mini tank. I don't know what to call it, man. But anyway, you got like a little small part on it. You stick between the rim and the tire. You hook the air hose up like this. Why that's on there? You put it in there, and then you like boom, and it make the tire expand and seal to the rim while the air going in. Now, if you ain't got that, it's the way you can do it. Use some ether around the rim. But like I said, I would not recommend it for a new guy. Man, I wouldn't even recommend it. I ain't gonna, it's the way you do it, but I ain't gonna mention it on here. I mean in full detail. I mentioned some of it, but not the whole thing. So yeah, guys, you wanna be proactive, man. Make sure you have these tires all right, man. Because if you don't, 
You don't, man. Some of this stuff right here, you could be prevented. Like, this is taking more of my time right now. I'm supposed to get this load and just go. I can't because the tire wasn't going to make it, man. Now, a rookie would have came in here, grabbed that, that box of that tire look like that, pull it off. Like, nothing wrong. I would have seen him about 20 miles down the road throwing his hands in there. It's all part of it, man. I'll tell you guys. There's trailers all over here. The drop yard, man. All type of wood and stuff. Well, I'm back here too. I'm about to look at my brakes. They're okay. They're a little low, but they're okay. Okay down there too. I will get it. Matter of fact, let me hold on. These are... These are uh, self-adjusted, slack adjusters too. Right here. I don't feel like doing it right now. But while I'm under here, while this, this tire right here airing up, this is a slack adjuster right here. Let me see if I can show you back. Tires, tires, pole. S cam is inside of here. It goes to the slack adjuster. To adjust these brakes, you gotta take like a flathead screwdriver, push this up. And then the nut right here, you turn it to go counterclockwise. You can turn it down without messing with this to push it against the drum, but to bag it up off the drum, to get it off the drum, the brakes, you have to um, push this nut up with like a screwdriver. Some people push it over the screwdriver and they stick a wrench in there so it won't go back down. But I go off a whole turn. Three quarters of a turn, but I go off a whole turn. So this is the nut right here, but you can't turn that backwards counterclockwise until you lift this up because it, it'll, it'll stop it from going back because this is I guess it's a mechanism to stop it from backing off the drum you could turn this without messing with this to push the brakes onto the drum now to get the brakes to back up off the drum a little bit oh my thing came off guys I gotta go over there and air it up but anyway so yeah this is how you this is slack adjusters guys one two and there's two back there three four it's four back there Oh man, hold on. Oh boy. Thought I'd show you guys. I hope I'm dropping some nuggets for you guys, man. My little thing came off. Uh oh. 95, that's good. I can do that. Alright, let's put some more on this one. So yeah, guys, I hope these videos are helping out, man. Save you a lot of headache and troubles, I'm trying to tell you. A lot of stuff you can do yourself. A lot of stuff you can do yourself, man. And whatever you can't do, don't be afraid to ask, man. But anyway, YouTube, hope this video is helpful. I got to finish hearing up all these tires. I can bring you guys through all this madness. I'm behind like another 30 minutes trying to air these up, man. Then I gotta go to the customer and see what I see what that's about. You know what I'm saying? But if I don't air these up right, I'm not gonna make it to the customer. In time, that is. So anyway, I YouTube. Hope this video was helpful. Get a little understanding about this matrix. See you guys next video. Peace.